Because data is the new currency of the digital economy, data occupations are becoming increasingly significant and popular all over the world. The pandemic provided the necessary impetus for global organizations to speed their digital transformations, and data infrastructure readiness is now the fundamental market differentiation. Systems, processes, tools and qualified labor make up this data infrastructure. Data architects and data engineers are in higher demand than data scientists in today's industry. The data architect and data engineer collaborate to create an enterprise data management framework by thinking, visualizing, and then building it. The data architect visualizes the entire framework and develops a plan for the data engineer to follow in order to construct the digital framework. The field of data engineering has lately emerged from that of software engineering. Recent enterprise data management trials have demonstrated beyond a shadow of a doubt that these data-focused software engineers are required to collaborate with data architects in order to create a solid data architecture. In response to a significant data business need, data engineers grew by 122% between 2018 and 2020. Job Title Descriptions for Two Complementary Positions Data architects have the ability to organize the chaos of data. Huge amounts of business data are meaningless without it. The blueprint for organizational data management is created by data architects. A data architect is needed on every data science team to visualize, design, and arrange data in a framework that data scientists, engineers, and analysts can use. These professionals frequently have computer science degrees, years of experience developing systems or applications, and extensive knowledge of information management. Before qualifying for a position as a data architect, an entry-level data professional will typically have to work for several years in data design, data management, and data storage. Data architects earn a median pay of $111,139 per year, according to Payscale.com. Data engineers, on the other hand, work with data architects to create a workable framework for data search and retrieval that both scientists and analysts may use later in their work. In most cases, data engineers obtain their credentials through a variety of certificate courses offered by professional training providers. These highly qualified engineers are in charge of creating and testing maintainable enterprise data architectures in the big data environment. The median annual income for data engineers is $90,286. For the organizational data management teams, data architects and data engineers collaborate to create a workable data architecture. Despite their complementary positions in the data science industry, these two individuals' everyday job functions might be extremely different. Updates on Data Architect versus Data Engineer Skills in 2021 In order to become a data architect in 2021, an aspirant applicant should take the following steps. 1. Get a bachelor's degree in computer science, engineering, or a similar field. 2. Work on some of the following technical skills. Exploration of data. Computer-assisted learning. Visualization of data. Text analysis, NLP, and predictive modeling. Software for the user interface and inquiry, for example. IBM DB2. Software for application servers, for example. Oracle. Refer to how to be a data architect in 2021 for a complete list of essential technical skills. These are some of the most important business skills for data architects to have. Skills in problem solving. Communication abilities on a professional level. Teamwork and leadership abilities. Expertise in the field. 3. Optional credentials for data professionals to advance. CDMP stands for Certified Data Management Professional. These qualifications, developed by the Data Management Association International DAMA, Lend legitimacy to any data architects resume. There are four levels to the CDMP. For further information, see the link above. Tokoff 9 Certification Program for Salesforce Certified Data Architecture and Management Designers. Big Data IBM Certified Data Architect. In order to become a data engineer in 2021, an aspirant applicant should take the following steps. Although many data engineers begin their careers with a bachelor's degree in science, math, or business, ambitious professionals will need to go above and beyond to excel and prosper in the field. The following are some examples of such steps. Develop your knowledge in computer engineering, 
data analysis, and big data. Additional certificates in engineering or big data can be obtained. Consider getting a master's degree in computer science, computer engineering, applied mathematics, physics, or a related discipline. The differences between a data architect and a data engineer in the workplace. Data architects work in a wide range of data administration domains, including data modeling, data warehousing, database management, and ETL tools. Certain programs need qualified candidates to demonstrate knowledge of specific topics such as data lineage or data replication. The function of the data architect has changed over time, with the advent of the data engineer allowing the architect to shift from constructing the data framework to displaying it. Due to extensive understanding of database design and query languages like Spark or NoSQL, the data architect has grown into a visionary in recent years. A data architect is simply a data engineer with greater experience, according to the terms data analyst versus data engineer, data scientist. The data engineer gathers, stores, and prepares data in a framework from which the data scientist and data analyst work, using the organizational data blueprint provided by the data architect. This method relieves the data scientist or data analyst of a significant amount of data preparation effort, allowing them to focus on data exploration and analysis. The data architect and data engineer may gain the same or very similar database architecture expertise over time, but they apply it differently. While data architects provide knowledge and direction in dealing with heterogeneous data sources from many databases, data engineers construct and maintain the data architecture for enterprise data professionals based on the architect's vision. The data architect is described as a person with strong database understanding who can envisage a priori how changes in data acquisitions will affect data utilization in an interesting contrast between the two roles. The data engineer, on the other hand, can create and manage a data system that compensates for those changes because of his or her profound knowledge of software engineering. The most significant differences between data architect and data engineer positions. The following are some of the differences between the two roles. Data architects create and manage data frameworks, whereas data engineers conceptualize and visualize them. The data science teams are led by data architects, while data engineers provide the platform for enterprise data activities. Once upon a time, data architects served as data engineers, however, since 2013, data engineering has grown rapidly as a separate employment field. Although both the data architect and the data engineer are specialists in database management technology, their responsibilities require them to apply their knowledge in quite different ways. The dynamics of data roles and teams reveals that data professionals who aren't familiar with software engineering won't be competent data engineers. As a result, while experienced data professionals may desire to become data architects, they may not be qualified for data engineering positions unless they have a background in software engineering. Which would you rather be, a data architect or a data engineer? The increase of data architects and data engineers is unavoidable in the next years, given the exponential rise of data sources and incoming data pipelines. The data architect is still evolving, is data science really the 21st century's up-and-coming profession? Is data management doomed as a result of massive advances in machine learning and deep learning? What does the future hold for data scientists and analysts? The data architect role is progressively transforming technology into commercial value, despite much speculation. The speaker in the Dataversity webinar Data Architect vs. Data Engineer vs. Data Modeler is known for assisting enterprises in gaining significant commercial value from their data warehouses. Data scientists who aren't software engineers' backgrounds unsuitable for data engineering, the adoption of big data technology across industries has forced the inclusion of data engineers on data science teams. These engineers must be able to exhibit a mix of database management and software engineering abilities. Not every software engineer, on the other hand, is expected to develop an interest in or skill in data technology. So, you're interested in becoming a data engineer? According to the definition, the data engineer's primary role is to provide timely and reliable data to support all analytics and reporting operations carried out by other data professionals inside the firm. The data engineer accomplishes this by creating and maintaining a corporate data architecture that can be used indefinitely. There are several intriguing resources for aspiring data architects and data engineers in a self-study list for data engineers and aspiring data architects.